Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of TC Fishing. Just caught my first whitey of 2021 on the hard water on Lake Simcoe. So stick with us, this episode's gonna be sweet. Mitchell. Are you filming? I am. Okay, we literally just got out of here. I just punched this hole a minute ago. Didn't even mark my lure yet. And just slammed one in the little Ned. And Benny's on. Oh, boys. First whitey. First whitey in a while, year. eh, bud? Oh, yeah, the whole year. We were out for perch last weekend. Oh, he's getting a little tangled. Nice. Just a little guy. <laughs> Good Sweet. eater though. Is it a natural? How do you, oh, eat. Yeah, it looks like a natural, eh? Yeah. Mine was like really small like that too. <laughs> nice. Feet here. Come well, closer to 40. Transducer's a little down the hole. And uh, looks like there's a fish down there right now, Mitchell. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe it's just, it was just interference. Mitch, what just happened? I was, wasn't paying attention, trying to get the GoPro ready, and uh, fish came up and just Crush my bait. Didn't even have to go down for her. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm almost at the hole here. I hope I don't lose this one at the hole. There she is. Beauty. Oh yeah. Nice natural. Beauty. It's a good sized fish. Let's get a release on it. Real quick, guys, just using an uh, eighth ounce jig head, black jig head on a gamey hook. Uh, me and Ben poured these actually in the summer. And uh, Angler's Choice uh, Ned. In a kind of a goby color, eh? Yep. Well, just a little update. We have two fish on the ice so far. Uh, Mitch lost one, uh, so you could you could have possibly had two already. Um, I've got one on the ice, and then um, our buddy Adam's with us uh, today too, and he's he's seen several. Hasn't hooked up on one yet, so it's been a pretty good morning so far. Oh, it's just a mini. <laughs> just a baby Laker. I didn't even know there was baby Lakers out here. No, it's a whitey, I think. Oh, here's one. The whitey. Oh, yeah. Oh. Benny's up. This is a bigger one. <laughs> here we go. Oh, boys and girls. Oh, this one's bigger. Nice. It's hard to fight a fish when you don't have when you have too long of a rod. Benny's hooked up with it. what he says is a big one. I don't know what a big white fish feels like, but it's uh, it's not small. Seen him? Yeah, he's, he's like the same size as yours. Probably 
get his head up there. He didn't like that. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> That's the way she goes sometimes. Now my arm's all wet. <laughs> That's probably one of the bigger ones I've ever caught. Yeah, that one was bigger. <sighs> yeah, next time just stick your arm down right away. <laughs> yeah. And get them from underneath. Yeah. going on everyone thanks for sticking with us uh, we just switched spots we went out a little deeper we're gonna see we marked a few in shallower around 40 feet or whatever and um, they just weren't cooperating we've changed our baits probably like five or six times <laughs> to even finesse presentations and nothing's going so we're gonna see if the deeper fish are more willing to bite or not and uh, so we just set up here See if we can get some more action going. 60 feet of water. Maybe a lake trout? Yep, fish, fish, on you, on you. Whoa. You hit it? Yeah, he hit it, it was so light. Really? Come from here, on you. You got them. Oh, it's a Laker. Take my phone away, please. <laughs> you think it's a Laker? Big, bro. Yeah? Yes, it's heavy. I can see him down there. It's, it's a Whitey. Heavy. What? It's huge. It's a Whitey, bro. It's huge. Did you get any footage, you think? Nice, bro. <laughs> whitey. <laughs> so we moved for Lakers, and this Whitey comes up and crushes a white tube. Uncommon. And, not to mention, he came up how many feet? Um like almost 30 maybe 20 to 30 feet so maybe we made the right move maybe i made the right decision said uh maybe the deeper fish want to bite we found a <laughs> minnow eating a minnow eating cucumber folks all right not bad yeah so that whitey came up pretty far off bottom I thought it was a lake trout for sure. And uh, smoked this tube twice. I actually hit it and then came back for it again and hit it again and I hooked them. Um, and I swore it was a laker. Mitch is looking down the hole. Um, telling me, no, it's a whitey. Couldn't believe it. Thought the thing was huge. Fought uh, way harder than uh, <laughs> the bigger one I lost earlier. But uh, that's Simcoe. You just never know out here. You could come across whiteys that chase minnows you can come across whiteys that eat only gobies on shoals well thanks for tuning in guys um that's probably going to be up for us right now uh the deep water didn't pan out like we hoped it would we got we marked two fish ben caught one which is great but uh we put the underwater camera down and it's mostly all just silt so i think it's pretty lucky um just happened to be cruisers and buddy was super hungry because he came up and 
chomped at your tube at like 30 feet up, which yeah, is pretty hit fun. It, hit it twice. <laughs> so uh, we're going to pack up, head in, and uh, maybe stop at our old holes for like 20 minutes maybe and see if we can pop one real quick. And then long journey home, almost two hour drive. So uh, thanks for tuning in, boys and ladies. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,